The first thing we noticed when we saw the MX4 in the flesh was that it looks somewhat similar to the iPhone 3G, 3GS when viewed head-on. This is mainly attributed to the handset's all-screen facade that's framed by a shiny metal rim that runs around the rounded edges of the MX4. Meizu seems to have forgotten to put bezels on the sides of the MX4's Gorilla Glass 3 laden 5.36 inch display as it nearly occupied every inch of the smartphone's front panel. Good thing Meizu was still able to make room for front mounted components like the earpiece, 2 megapixel selfie camera, and a single capacitive button right below the screen. Around the edges is where you'll find all of the MX4's external controls and components. At the top, you have the power button and the 3.5mm audio jack. On the left is the volume rocker, and at the bottom is the micro USB port that's sandwiched in between the speakers and the main microphone. At the back is the handset's removable back cover that has a smooth matte finish to it. It feels very nice to the touch and well complements the entire theme of the MX4. Our main takeaway from our short encounter with the Meizu MX4 is that it's got a well-designed and well-constructed body to match its beefy internals. It does look like a blown-up version of the iPhone 3 GS thanks to its rounded edges that's bordered by metal rims sans the glossy back panel. But not to a point that it looks like a cheap knockoff. Those of you who are picky about thick bezels surrounding the display will certainly appreciate the effort that Meizu has done to keep it so thin that it's hardly noticeable. We're not sure how the MX4 single capacitive button will fly with users as it takes some getting used to before you get the hang of it. But based on our short time with the handset, it felt very responsive and together with the Flyme OS, works as advertised. The Meizu MX4 is now available at Novo 7 Tech Store for 14,990 pesos. Again, this is Ron from yugatech.com. Thanks for watching, guys.